There's something genuinely special about 3D printing. The idea that you can design something, slice it, and a few hours later, hold it in your hands, it still feels so futuristic. And for me, that feeling started in high school. The first time I saw a 3D printer in person, I remember thinking, you can just make anything you want without a factory, without a warehouse, just a small printer and some filament. It felt like genuine magic, like the future had leaked into the present. And for a long time, places like Etsy carried that same energy, a marketplace full of creativity, problem solving, and genuinely useful designs. But if I'm being honest, it feels a little different today, and I don't mean that in a good way. There was a time when 3D printing on Etsy and in general actually meant something. Designs were clever, practical, and personal. People made things they actually needed, things that solved real problems or improved everyday life. Every listing had soul. You could feel the actual effort behind it. Now, search for almost anything even remotely related to 3D printing. And it's like walking through the world's biggest copy and paste factory. It's always the same model, same angle, and the same exact idea. There's literally hundreds of listings just slightly renamed, recolored, and stuffed with keywords. And the worst part is, it buries the original creators, the people who actually designed the thing in the first place. But why did this happen? I mean, come on, it's simple. 3D printers got very cheap, filaments got very cheap, and stolen STL files are literally everywhere. Meanwhile, Etsy rewards quantity, not quality. Spam more listings, you win. Copy trending items, you win. Never design a single thing yourself, you will still win. The platform slowly became a race to the bottom. And that brings us to where we are now. A marketplace overflowing with low quality, untested prints made purely for profit. Customers are getting frustrated. Creators are getting discouraged and the entire reputation of 3D printed products slips downhill. It's classic in shitification. Something starts very great, becomes popular, gets exploited, and eventually collapses under its own low effort content. And the sad truth is, this issue isn't just limited to Etsy. It's literally everywhere. YouTube videos, TikToks, shorts, reels. I've seen content where people print literal plastic waste for views. Models with no real use. Trinkets that exist purely because the algorithm likes it. Energy burned and filament wasted. Objects that'll sit in landfills longer than any of us will be alive. 3D printing was supposed to be empowering. A way to build, repair, and invent. Instead, a huge portion of it has turned into disposable content disguised as creativity. And the shift does not even stop there. 3D printing used to be driven by passion, people who genuinely wanted to solve problems, and people who love designing. Now, a huge chunk of the space is filled with people mass producing whatever random STL files they found on a get rich quick Facebook group. All this just to flip it for a quick book. No testing, no refinement, no purpose. Just novelty prints, objects people get tired of in a week and never recycle, things that contribute to nothing except clutter. This is not what 3D printing was meant to be, and it steals attention from the creators who actually care and are passionate about their designs. But don't worry, I do have some good news. There are still incredible creators out there, people who test, refine, and invent because they genuinely love the process. Supporting them actually helps though, Look for designs that show prototypes, iterations, real photos, real explanations. Support the people who care, because they're the ones keeping the spirit of 3D printing alive. And here's my take. For me, 3D printing has never been about pumping out as many objects as possible. It's about problem solving, creating something that didn't exist yesterday, designing with intention. That high school realization I had that you can make anything, that's the feeling I'm trying to protect. Every design I create, every project I share, I want it to be useful, thoughtful, refined, and tested. Not something that adds to the noise or, you know, the landfill. So yes, the bloat is real. The inshittification is happening. But the creativity, the passion, the people pushing this technology forward, they're still out there. 
they're still designing, they're still building, and they're worth supporting. Thanks for watching, and if you want more thoughtful deep dives, real projects, and designs that actually solve problems, stick around. Bruh.